So Romans 8.11, it says, But if the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. So that's, that's, you know, that's a statement. If the Spirit of Him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you. So we know, we covered this during the conference, that if you're a believer, Jesus Christ moved into you, and His Spirit is in you right now. It doesn't come in and go, it's constantly there. So His Spirit, the same resurrection power that raised Jesus from the dead, abides inside of you. He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through His Spirit who dwells in you. So that same Spirit that raised Jesus from the dead dwells inside of you, and it quickens your mortal body. It starts flowing through your body and restoring everything. Why? Because that life abundant, there is so much of it in you to where that life is now flowing through your whole body and flowing out of you to where you have so much of this life to where now your body is in constant health and you have so much of this life to where you go around and you hand it off to other people by laying your hands on the sick and they will recover. That is the new creation believer that Jesus envisioned for every one of us to be here to become. That is his will. To where we understand what it is that we have inside of us, start believing, start walking out, and allow that spirit that's inside of us to start flowing through our body, quickening our body, and affecting people around us. Amen? And we also talked about the apostles, that that life was flowing through them so much to where people would try to get into their shadows, to where it wasn't just inside of them, it was emanating from th through the outside of them, to where as they were walking, if people would get into their shadow, they would get healed. Apostles did that. that that's how God moved through apostles. We are also apostles. That means we can do the same thing. So we just need to understand that truth, that reality that is in us, and start walking it out. So we do that by constantly being in the Word and renewing our mind, which will energize your life. You practice the presence of God in every aspect of your life. And so we talked about this also at the conference. You look at these scriptures, and you start proclaiming them. You start speaking them out. You start agreeing. So like, Christ lives in me. I have his life. Life abundant. Rivers of living water flowing through me. And you start speaking that and seeing that and applying that in your daily life. I have the mind of Christ. I have an answer to every question. Why? Because the one that knows all the answers abides in me. And you just start speaking God's words that he spoke and as you start speaking them and you start agreeing them with them, you will start being walking out in His will. And His will is an answer to your every problem and to every problem in people around you. Why? Because God created us and He knows what's good for us. He knows that what people need is only what He can provide and not this world and not the devil. Because devil's job is to destroy everything that God's trying to build, trying to create, trying to build, you know, restore, the devil's trying to destroy it. Because we read before that Jesus came to give life and life abundant. Devil came to steal, kill, and destroy. And that is the only thing that, that he does. He does not do anything else except stealing, killing, and destroying. Okay?